Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your site name and your site logo and other icons in PrestaShop. To change your store name, simply go to Preferences, Store Contacts, and then right here in Contact Details you basically enter in your shop name, your shop email address, your registration, and your street address, city, country, state, phone number, etc. right here. To change your store logo, you simply go to Preferences and you go to Themes here and you basically upload your uh, store uh, header right here by clicking the Add File and then simply locate that file on your computer which is uh, this one right here in my case and click on save and when you do so it will also take place uh, right here in invoices and emails and also for uh, mobile right here and you can also choose whether you want to enable the mobile theme for uh, smartphones or uh, enable it for tablets or would you like to disable it or would you like to enable it for uh, smartphones and for tablets and then the icons right here. This is your favicon. This shows up here in uh, Firefox. In uh, Internet Explorer it might uh, show up in a different location and in Safari it shows up around here. Uh, note that after changing this logo the changes don't take effect immediately on your browser because your browser actually caches this information. So uh, while your uh, favicon actually changes for your visitors, people visiting your site for the first time, people that have already visited your site We'll keep seeing this logo there until uh, that logo expires, until that cache expires. So what you do is you simply locate your favicon and this is in uh, .ico format. You choose it and uh, I chose .ico format because that's the format that the original logo was in. And then what you do is if you want to change your store icon you can do that as well. And the store icon basically shows up here where it says in our stores where you have that Google map. Uh, right here where you have uh, these little uh, shopping bags. That's that store icon there. So I will upload my store icon as well. And I will click on save. And I'm going to go to icons to see here whether the changes took effect. And I'm going to copy the address. And yes, the favicon has been updated. It's just not showing up right here correctly. So once you can actually see the favicon by actually entering the URL into your web browser and if uh, after refreshing you see the icon, that means that the changes did take place. But as you can see, uh, my browser is actually caching this file. So as you can see the home page uh, now displays my store logo, my favicon, and my store locator page shows my new icons here. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.